Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 16 of Building Brentford. We are here playing against Man City today and what you have missed is a 1-0 dominant performance against Aston Villa where we got a penalty from Marcus Force but Thiago Almada got injured and then we went and had a fantastic game here against Everton where we changed it into the 4-2-3-1 and we did play quite well but gave an own goal away as well but we are here it is the time to play Man City bench looks good to me we're gonna go we are live on Twitch so if you haven't joined us make sure you jump over to poorly 29 on Twitch Ooh, it's the first time we've seen Harry Kane not start, but he's not in the squad. But the team is pretty much the exact same as last time uh, that we played City. Let's get passionate. Let's avenge what happened last time. And we'll just sort of click through here. And it has been a while since we have been on the Brentford save, so... Took some time to reacquaint myself, and it looks like that was offside, so we've gotten away with a bit of murder there. All right, let's go. Come on, let's skip that, and let's go. We are looking really good at the moment. Now, why isn't it playing? There we go. Oh, here we go. Another chance. De Bruyne. Aguero. Aguero does well. Laporte. Into De Bruyne, De Bruyne, that's a penalty all day long, which is not ideal for us against Sofyan. Here we go, Guero steps up. Guero doesn't normally miss penalties, and that continues. And we go 1-0 down, and that is a bit disappointing. All right. Let's go, let's demand more of the boys. We are missing Almada, we're missing Holzak. So we're missing a couple important pieces to this team. But I do like the way it is progressing this season, being mid-table in the Premier League. Here we go. Can we win the ball back? Gustavo doesn't do well enough. And we'll take a goal kick there, though. All right, we need to start doing a bit more, though. The players are a bit out of shape because we did have a game... Only a few days ago against Everton, Zamborek finds Rico. The ball hangs around. De Silva picks it up. Come on, Sofian, find something into De Silva. That's a poor ball there from. Must have been Sofian. Vallejo, Gustavo finds Henry on the overlap. Get a ball in if you can, Rico. Marcus Fors. Ooh. All right, that's better play from the boys. And we are up high here, trying to stop City from playing out. But that is brilliant football. And Rico's let Bernardo through. That's he's somehow scuffed that. We will take that and we will run. All right, let's demand more once again. Oh, here we go, another set piece. Ball in, back post. And that will count, I think. No, it won't. Okay. Sterling's had a second one disallowed. Wow. Can we make City pay? Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's offside. Come on, lads. Can we find something? All right, Teo Hernandez, Phil Foden, De Bruyne. That's a good ball from Rodri. Finds Cancelo. We don't deal with it. Come on, let's go. Oh, De Bruyne again. Seriously, can we get a highlight, lads? Come on. We're just holding on here at the moment. We've only had the one shot. Here we go. De Silva. Ball in. Back post. Oh. Nicolo. Here we go. Rico. Whips it. No one home. Sofian. Oh, you can't lose the ball there. He's... That could be a position we look to strengthen next season. Is that right back? Spot. Come on, Aguero. Oh, it's off the post, and Aguero's never missing that. All right, where are we? All right, 2 0 going into half time. Here we go, De Silva. Ball in. Marlos. Zamborek just hit it. Deflection. Watkins. Come on, let's go. There we go. 2-1. 
We'll take one going into half time. Sorry, guys that are in the chat. We are making, we are recording for YouTube. So if anything is happening at the moment, I will sort it out in a second. All right, come on, lads. Let's go and get an equalizer here. All right, let's go. Come on. Can we? Oh, the Silver's picked up an injury. We don't want. All right, we're going to go with Herbie Kane there as the other midfielder. And let's continue to play. Let's demand more of the boys. All right, Rico's really struggling. I should have changed him. It doesn't matter. Okay, Raya, does the highlight continue? They should be looking for Gustavo, but they don't. They've gone long. They find Marlos out wide. Go, Marlos. That's a foul. That's all right. Advantage. Alakau. Get a ball in. Oh, come on. Oh, and we are out of position here. This is dangerous. I don't like De Bruyne pulling strings. Come on. Cancelo. Down this right wing again. Finds Bernardo. Kevin De Bruyne. Phil Foden. Teo Hernandez. Back post. Oh, we are holding on for dear life at the moment. All right, it's time for another move. Who's really struggling? Zambarek will have to deal with it. I think we're going to go Embuemo up there. And we'll leave a sub up our sleeves because the players are a bit short on fitness. But we will rotate for the next game. And Rico's got an injury. We might have to try and leave him out there. Because uh, we, who have we got? We got Reach. Reach can play a dual role there. It's fine. All right, that's all we've got. Let's continue. Here we go, Rodri. Can we win the ball high? Zambarek wins it. Has fours running through. Doesn't see it. Plays Watkins. Watkins. Oh, it's a poor ball from Ollie Watkins and Aguero driving at us. Come on, Amini. Someone just get in the way, boys. Herbie. Ollie, good back heel, and it's wide. Oh my god, we are doing everything we can to try and get a result here. All right, the wingers will go up to attack. You're already on attack. Herbie Kane can go as an advanced playmaker. Let's confirm that and let's play. Can we steal a point away at the Eddie Had? I don't think it's likely, but 2-1 is still a respectable scoreline for little old Brentford. And I definitely cannot fault their efforts in that game. And that leaves us in 8th with Spurs with two games behind us. So we're likely going to be in ninth once Spurs catch up to us. What have we got? Moreno suffers defeat. He's only out for a couple days. That's fine. We've got a decent offer there. And Luke, Sasha Lukic. Oh, that's the dude from Torino. Anyway, so YouTube, you'll see us in a moment, I reckon, at the Arsenal game. Welcome back, YouTube. We are here. We are playing Arsenal now. And as you can see, we went and beat Fulham 2-1 in the FA Cup. And we managed to draw Bristol City, um, which is down here. Then we got a draw with West Ham where we went 1-0 up, 3-1 down, and drew 3 all after Brian came off the bench. And then we just went and beat Sheffield United 3-2 in the 90th minute with our Martyrs' first goal of the season after constantly battling injuries. Arsenal are first in the league. And this is pretty much barring Josh De Silva, who's just not quite ready to play. This is our first 11. So no excuses to not do well. We're still trying to figure out whether Watkins or Fours will be our main number nine for the rest of the year. Actually, let's go back to opposition. Martinelli, Meza Ozil, Pizzi, Reese Nelson, Maitland Niles, Torreira. All right, that's a pretty solid Arsenal team. They are top for a reason. But let's see how we go, guys. We've been playing some good football ourselves. 
and some interesting football at the same time. But Wolves have a few games in hand, so it is really important that we get a result. They are playing City at the end of this match week, and then we take Everton on again. So, you know, if Everton can find a way to not beat Leicester and we get a result here against Arsenal, then we're going to be in a really good position to push for European football for next season. So, we're approaching half-time already. This has gone quick. Rico, back post, Vallejo. Got to do better. Our centre-backs, that's the one thing they lack is the ability to convert those chances like we used to last season. And that's half-time. There's, you know, not a lot to really comment on because we've seen one highlight. So... Let's demand a bit more of the boys as well and see if we can actually see some action. So there's finally been a shot on target. Now there's been two. So it looks like we're doing all right. Maitland-Niles moves to left back so Xhaka can step onto the pitch. Now there's no Aubameyang. There's no Lacazette, which is what I want to see. So Vallejo finds a ball out wide. Here we go. We're playing very direct. Ollie Watkins finds his way into the right channel. Probably had no one to go... Well, no one to play to. Here we go. Jose Maria Jimenez slaps it forward. Mikatarian finds the overlapping run of Maitland Niles. Deflected. Here we go. Almada picks it up. Come on, Thiago. Good ball. Ollie Watkins. Oh, you got to prove me right there for picking you over force. I feel like we've been the better team here. And I want to see how Tyrese does. Vallejo deals with the first ball. Pizzi picks it up again from the corner. Into Maitland Niles. We're doing quite well here. And I think it's time to bring Fours on for Watkins. Where's Fours? There he is. And then, is anyone really struggling? We've got the right back struggling. I don't want to use a sub on him though. 68 for Zambarek. So we can go with Moreno out on the left. And let's see how that shapes us up. Let's demand a bit more. We haven't had a heap of the ball, but we've had all the chances. Arsenal, who are top of the league, have not had a shot on target. And realistically, a draw is probably a good result here at home. And that's how it ends. It ends nil-nil. It's not pretty, but... It gets the job done, so well done, lads. We've done the job. And let's have a look at the schedule to see where we'll be picking up episode 17 from. That's fine. More money coming in from more pay. Competitions. No, schedule. I reckon the next episode will be Wolves and Chelsea. So... For episode 16, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out all the Twitch content as well at Porty29. Make sure you give us a follow over there so you can watch it all live. And I hope you have a great day.